Hey guys, welcome in. Thanks for hanging out for me. I know we were getting started right at 5.15. So thanks for hanging out until 5.19. If you're watching this after the fact, welcome. Uh, we've got daily videos posted here on Facebook and they're also being uploaded onto YouTube as well. And so what I wanted to do through this time when so many people are stuck at home is talk to you about how to keep your nervous system healthy through all this while you're in self-isolation. And today is Total Health Tuesday. And so during Total Health Tuesday, I wanna to talk to you about how to keep the most important system in your body healthy, and that's your spine and nervous system. This is the first system that was formed in your entire body, and it's what controls all the other systems. When, we were, when you were just a sperm and the egg and those came together, formed a single cell, and that duplicated and replicated itself 35 trillion times, making this living, loving, thinking clay that's sitting here in front of a computer screen today, it did that with the intelligence that God placed in there and nothing else. You know, it, it, some nutrients from your mom, but mostly just that intelligence that God designed within us. And it's the same intelligence that formed you, that keeps you running. It's what keeps your heart beating. It's what keeps your lungs breathing and cut on your hand or your leg. Those heal automatically all on their own, just because your nervous system and the intelligence that's inside there does so. So your brain, your spinal cord, and each of your nerve roots, those are what send the electrical inputs and outputs throughout the entire system, telling, telling the organ cells and tissues what to do. And they're surrounded and protected by your spinal column in each individual vertebra. And that spinal column in each individual vertebra need to be in an ideal position. But when they're out of position, like let's say you're sitting in front of a laptop at home and you take this hunched position or you're looking down at your cell phone every day, that retrains the muscles, ligaments, and tendons that instead of holding this, as your normal position, now this becomes your normal position. This is where that dowager's hump comes from. And if it ends up being this from talking on a cell phone all day, that creates a scoliosis. And those problems actually end up creating such a disturbance in your ner nervous system that it decreases your life expectancy and life quality by the same amount as having type two diabetes when you're looking through the research and seeing how those two affect your health overall. And so if we want to keep that healthy, there's a series of exercises that you need to be doing on a daily basis. Because when we're talking about this, about your spinal health, the spine of your the health of your spine and your nervous system, we're talking about three basic components that play into that. The first is the electrical current that runs through there. That intelligence communicates electrically. We're electric. And so you need to be allowing that to flow through there. And so that means keeping pressure off of those nerves off of the brainstem, off of the spinal cord. And so making sure that that spine is in the ideal position. But the second is actually looking at it uh, from a fluid perspective because there's cerebral spinal fluid and there's blood flow that needs to go up and needs to come down. And so from that perspective, each of our patients, especially if you're a patient here in the office, you've been given a sheet that lists out all of the exercise that you need to do on a daily basis in order to keep your spine healthy and keep it moving forward. Now more than ever, it's time to double down on that. While you're at home doing nothing else except focusing on yourself and your own problems, double down on those home exercises. And so those spinal warmups are actually for fluid flow, fluid in your discs and fluid around your spinal cord, whether that's blood or cerebrospinal fluid. And so that's your wobbles going back and forth, opening up every vertebra from the front, from the sagittal plane, from the coronal plane, going side to side, making sure you get full motion through there, and then rotational as well, making sure every vertebra is moving through its entire range of motion so that you can get the motion in your spine, so that you can get the fluid flow into your brain and then down out from your brain, so you can get the blood flow up to your brain and then down out of your brain. If you don't get those motions in on a daily basis, you will restrict that blood flow and fluid flow, and that fluid exchange will not take place. It needs to take place at least twice a day. To make sure you're staying up with that. The next one, is actually the isometric exercises. So these are very specific to the shape of your spine. And so without an x-ray, it's impossible to tell exactly what shape your spine is in. And so you need an x-ray to do that. We're taking appointments to take x-rays currently. We are essential healthcare here in Nebraska, meaning that people in general need to be taking care of their spines because guess what the number two reason is for people to go to the emergency room right now? It's back pain. 
And the number one thing that chiropractic has been shown in the research to do is actually to help people with their back pain. That's not what I specialize in, but we absolutely help people on a daily basis. We had a patient just last week, Ken, who's been coming in, you know, he came in for his exam, told us he couldn't sleep because of how much pain he was in. Following his first adjustment, the next visit, first adjustment, he was able to sleep like a baby because we were able to address the cause of the pain in his spine. We didn't put him on any medication. I didn't give him a single supplement. All we did is adjust his spine and start restoring the normal alignment so that there was no pressure damage or interference in his nervous system, making sure that his brain could communicate with his body pain-free. And so that's why we're considered essential because if you don't take care of your spine, it does degenerate, it becomes arthritic, and it ends up leading to the number one cause of disability in the United States, which is back pain. And so you need those isometric exercises based off your x-rays. So if your x-rays show that you have a scoliosis that makes you look like this, we want to do an isometric exercise that holds you in this posture, strengthening the weak side, stretching the tight side, and keeping you in better posture. Now, oftentimes this means, this means doing a physical activity only one-sided. And so some of you have only one side of your spine being exercised because you have a severe scoliosis to one side. And so we stretch that out, we strengthen it out, and we mirror image it. And so that's where the isometric exercises come in. From there, we have body weighting. Body weighting, again, is based specifically and strictly off of x-rays and how you respond on x-ray to those body weights. And that gets you back into position. It retrains the muscles, ligaments, and tendons to hold you there. From there, there's the passive molding. And so passive molding is a stretch for the ligaments around the spine, a stretch for the discs, and actually is an adjustment when done properly based off of the findings that again, we find from your exam and x-rays. And so if you haven't had an exam, I encourage you to go to our website, go to goodlifefamilychiropractic.com. You can request an appointment there, or you can call or text me on my cell phone at 402-413-8825 and would be happy to set you up with one of those. There's one last thing that I wanted to go through with you guys because it is something that you can do without x-rays and that's neuromuscular retraining. And so this is something that's new that we've added to level two in structural corrective. And so why you wanna to go to someone who has the latest certifications in advanced structural correction. So let's say you do have that scoliosis shifted over the side, one shoulder's high, your head's cocked over that side. What we want to do to help you fix that scoliosis is we don't just want to stretch it and strengthen it to the other side. Now we actually want to mirror image that and do an exercise that retrains the neurons, creates a neurological pathway, a new neurological pathway saying that, hey, the opposite of what we've been doing is what we actually want to do. And so taking this mirrored posture and then doing something as simple as bending forward at the waist and then coming back up. Or let's say you have head forward posture, which most Americans do. So you walk around like this every single day. So instead of walking around like this, a mirror image exercise would be to tuck the chin backwards like this, and then let's say bend to the left and bend to the right. And you do that and you'll find just how incredibly difficult this is because it's retraining your brain, which is one of the most difficult things to retrain in your entire body. Changing behavior is far more difficult than changing and retraining a muscle, a ligament, or a tendon. But when we can change the brain, we can transform the health of the entire body, the entire nervous system, and keep you healthy and well. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Stay healthy, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video on how to keep your nervous system, your immune system, your digestive system, all healing and functioning at a high, high level.